One man, meantime, is in the hospital tonight after being stabbed here at the popular Kobe swap meet. Tennis reporter Jennifer Jensen is live in the Midway area. And Jen, this all started with someone throwing paper? Yeah, that's what one witness tells us, Preston. A piece of paper like this, although we have no idea what was written on it, but it happened right over here, right behind me where the fence is, where you can see people are cleaning up. A witness says he saw the two men argue, and then the stabbing took place just feet away from him. You can see the yellow crime tape that surrounds the furniture around this blue tent. This is where police and witnesses say the stabbing took place just after noon. When witnesses say the two vendors got into an argument that quickly escalated. Jack Illman runs a sports card memorabilia stand right next to where the stabbing took place. He says he saw one of the men throw a piece of paper at the other. Then the two men began to fist fight. Then both men fell to the ground. And all of a sudden the suspect took out a knife from his pocket and stabbed the victim, a couple of stab wounds in the thigh and in the calf. Although Illman says he's been selling here for two decades, he tells 10 News he's never seen anything like this. Nothing like this ever happened here at this Kobe swap. It's always been a peaceful family gathering. Now, the 30 year old was taken to the hospital with non life threatening injuries. A 25 year old was caught by security guards here and then arrested by police. We are live here in Midway. Jennifer Jensen, 10 News.